Hey, before you skip this, can I ask a quick favor of you? And I know it's annoying, but a quick favor, um, especially if you're a Christian, um, I want to ask a favor. I want to reach uh, a specific person, and I'll tell you why in a second, but if you give me just a minute, I'll explain. Um, if you yourself, though, know someone who is um, who's depressed, lost, you know, anxious, anything like that, but having doubts about their religion, their faith, having doubts about why they're going through certain things, please share this with them. Um, share this if you know anyone like that at all. And the reason why is that, you know, I suffer from um, the, something called complex PTSD. So what it is, I mean, I had a crazy upbringing, but it, uh, it you know, leaves you with depression, anxiety, and stuff like that. So the thing is, is that seven years ago, um, and again, a crazy path, so this isn't like me at all, but seven years ago, I gave my life to Jesus. I was at the, the end. I was like, I don't know what to do. I gave my life to Jesus, totally surrendered, and uh, and I wasn't changed instantly in terms of being happy. I was, I began the next seven years, the hardest years of my life by far, but the most transformative as well. Because um, I went from basically not believing at all or scoffing at the Bible kind of a thing, never opening the Bible once before, to going into a systematic kind of approach into learning about Christianity, this worldview that I didn't realize I was doing. But now I'm at the point where I'm not healed. Um, th this hasn't gone away. And I thought I'd be better and I would reach down and help people out. But the thing is, is that I'm not better. And, um, and there's a reason. And I think the reason is that I'm supposed to meet you where you are right now. I'm supposed to meet you where we are. So instead of pulling you up, reaching down and pulling you up, I'm going to reach to you and we're going to pull each other up. So that's how it's going to be done. But I want to help you get through this journey to, to this point to where we can help each other at this step. So what we'll do is we'll go through a, a, an approach. It's a three-tiered approach. So think about it. We'll do them all at the same time, interweaving them, but it'll be apologetics, which is objective facts, data, you know, logic, you know, hard proof, truth statements. Um, you have, uh, I mean, you have, you know, all sorts of, you know, you have math, archaeology, everything like that. So you have a bunch of stuff that's confirming it objectively, truthfully. These are facts. Gravity is real kind of stuff. So you have that and also theology. Theology is uh, where you get into hermeneutics, which is just a fancy word for you know interpreting the Bible. But uh, we'll also get into some cool stuff like translations, like the original Greek and Hebrew. Because when you get into those inner linears and find out what word means what, it's pretty crazy because there's so much depth into it and there's so much to learn. Um, and there's something that you should know, uh, Lagos and Rhema, uh, the Bible itself is this living, this living being. So Lagos is the black and white words on the page, and uh, Rhema is kind of this instant, spontaneous application of that verse that you had read at some point, you know, coming out. Um, and uh, the Lagos, the reading the words is almost like feeding yourself ammunition, so you're able, able to, you know, feed that Rhema. Um, so that's going to be huge. And then also at the same time, the Holy Spirit. This is the most important by far. The Holy Spirit isn't some force that's just around or, you know, something in the ether. The Holy Spirit is a person with a personality. He's right here right now. And um, and with the Holy Spirit, it's this this kind of power. It's in Greek. It's it's chronos, dunamis, like energia, the, the, all these different words for meaning this immense power that you can't even comprehend. The power that can resurrect somebody from the dead. And it's inside you. You can access this. The Holy Spirit is inside you. So when you develop this personal relationship with who's here and you learn to hear his voice better, that's when miracles happen. That's when breakthroughs happen, when you're walking in the Spirit. And it's real. The charismatics, a lot of people think they're nuts and out of their minds. They're not. They're in the know. They realize what's going on. Uh, so what the best uh, method is, and, and this is my opinion, this is the journey that I went on, is, you know, apologetics, theology, and the Holy Spirit. And what that goes through is apologetics will give you the truth, something that you can really bank on, that knowledge. Truth and theology will give you the message. That's, you know, you're learning what it says, how to, you know, uh, how to spread it, everything like that. And then third is the Holy Spirit. 
And this is where the kingdom comes into play. This is where you learn to have heaven on earth, learn to live in the kingdom, and um, you know express that to others. Have the first fruits of the spirits kind of come forth. Um, so again, I'm sorry this is a little long, and thank you for watching truly. But I, I got to be honest with you, I don't like making these videos. I feel awkward. It's uncomfortable. Uh, I'm not like this at all. I've never been this born again evangelical guy. Um, I started making these videos a couple of years ago, like a few of them, just like I would do PowerPoint presentations and all this stuff that I was learning for an audience of like zero. I didn't even share them. I don't know why I was doing them. But about two weeks ago, I started realizing that, okay, I need to start sharing these and making more of these. And, and it's uncomfortable. I don't know why. But what I do truly feel and know inside is that this will reach that person that needs it. The person that's going to come on the journey with me um, to reach the kingdom. Um, I know it's going to reach that person. And if you don't want to uh, subscribe, that's okay. If you could just like, and here's a big thing too, um, and share if you know someone, anyone at all. But here's a big thing too. If you feel compelled to by the Holy Spirit, if it makes you feel compelled, write down in the comments, kingdom. And I know that sounds cheesy. Um, one, it does help the algorithms for comments. But two, it's powerful and it's a proclamation that, you know, that's what you're seeking. That's the point of life. That's what matters. So if you could share this, it would be a huge favor. And, um, and it would mean a lot, especially if it reaches that person. So thank you. Have a blessed night. And I'll say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you for everything that you've blessed us with. Thank you for creating everything. We are grateful and we come to your, your throne boldly as your children and co-heirs with Christ. Father, we are royalty. Help us with the spirits of wisdom and revelation so we can know you better and know who we are more. Father, we love you and I pray for blessings for everyone watching this. We pray all this in the name above all names, the King above kings, our Savior, Jesus Christ. By him, with him, and in him. Amen.